We were strolling by the south bank, taking in the scenery. It was one of those picture-perfect moments that I'm going to look back on and smile. For a while we watched as the reflections of the London city lights shined bright, guiding us on an unknown journey through this what seemed to be pretty perfect night. I glanced down, see the love of my life's hand squeezing mine. The other was occupied by a cup of red wine. As we walked, we walked, we talked, we talked, we laughed and we kissed. I felt this overwhelming gratefulness and I wasn't even pissed. Not yet, anyway. She smiled and I caught a glimpse of those beautiful eyes. They're so honest she could never disguise, never conceal the way she feels. That's one of the reasons why I love her. It's your average Saturday night. I'd just finished work and it was time to lurk the streets of London for a while. I walked past some very attractive females. I smiled at them, but they didn't smile back. But I didn't care. At first I thought they were just fit mates. But I'm unsure. So I sit and wait. I've got the nerve to sit and observe, to watch them both like hawks. Actually, speaking of hawks, they hold each other the same way a bloke would hold his bird. But don't say a word. I don't need to. I've got a front row seat of fancy girl on girl action. I was feeling something much stronger than attraction. Do you want to go halves on a pork barn? I asked whilst I tugged on her arm. Her eyes said she didn't fancy it. I said, please babe, you only have to have a bit. She smiled. I kissed her forehead. She gave in. My playful moaning and groaning was sharply disturbed by a man stood gaping on the curb. They're not your stereotypical fat dykes that I really don't like. They are top quality. Sexy blonde and slutty brunette. I wonder how quickly I could get them wet. I feel as though I've seen them in something before. Although there wasn't two of them. There was four. A woman just can't do what I can. I remember the name of the title actually. Slutty lesbian whores gagging for a man. That was them. I'm sure of it. So I said to them, excuse me darlings, where are you heading off to tonight? Fuck it, right? I felt the blood drain from my face. Happiness disappeared, my head soon became an empty space. Clammy hands. My legs started to tremble as we continued to assemble down this cold concrete. I can see him through the corner of my eye, preying on us like a piece of fresh meat that he wants so desperately to eat. Her hand abruptly slipped out of mine, as if embarrassed. Public shame painted all over our face. We, we shouldn't have held hands. I dropped the wine to the floor and I instantly wished we'd never left the front door. I wanted to disappear, like magic. This feeling has been absent for a while. Well, three weeks to be precise. Her hands, they went from warm to ice. She felt how I felt. So I absently wink at her and force a smile ensuring you will be home in a little while. But then I couldn't help but think if I was a man, would this bloke still mouth off like he can? No. But to be born with breasts is to be oppressed. It means that you will never be the best. That's what they tell us anyway. They were playing hard to get. Fulfilling my fantasy, I continue to imagine them explicitly. I can't help it. My imagination is running, sprinting wild like a child. I can't help myself. I say, come on girls, it's only a bit of fun. Why are they being so uptight? Two girls like this, any real man's dream come true, right? How dare they come out in public places, snogging each other's face and expect me not to stare, kissing and touching each other, it's fucking unfair. I want to go. One of them started to cry, the other one started to go and help them. They were walking, practically running away, but I want them to stay so we can have a play. You know, cheeky freeway. 
I know that girls love attention. It's like dangling a bit of meat in front of a lion's nose. My mind undressed them from the head to their toes. They want to tease me. So that's when I said to them, I would love to see you both on all fours. And then one of them told me to fuck off. Ungrateful fucking whores. She attempts to relax me. She can see in my eyes that I'm about to blow. But my overpowering red rage was postponed as I saw the tears in those beautifully honest eyes about to overflow. My heart pounded in my chest. Their eyes glazed, mouth wide open, saliva dripping It's the male gaze. Not even a blink, like an animal at the zoo when it's feeding time, they don't stop to think about the damage that's inflicted. Totally hypnotised by their sick thoughts, completely addicted to this false porn hub perception which is made purely to give them an erection. It's not fucking real. We headed home. The night came to an abrupt end. Hands by our side so no one suspects she's my girlfriend. On edge. Just trying to avoid unwanted attention. We didn't stop to mention a word to each other the whole way home. In my head I was just waiting. Anticipating, physically shaking at the thought of another comment. Anxious, my fingers were lonely. They're not used to being on their own. Once held, they were cold to the bone. I stared at the reflections of the London city lights. Still, despite everything, were shining so vivid and bright.